Hello friends and greetings from Iceland again. More updates from the ongoing eruption. Here you see the map with all the lava fields from the last month. The purple lava fields. Currently um, the fissure extends for 4 kilometers. It's extended and extended further north with an earthquake's magnitude 4 which took place here and then mm, fissure extended uh, slightly further north in a new area. I don't think it was the volcano was erupting here before. So this is how, how long is the fish, fissure? 3.9 kilometers right now and there are two flows going around this mountain called Stora Skokfet, one from the north and one from the south in the almost reaching the highway. Green David Road is under the threat. Here is you have an elevation or an ascedor where we used to come. Journalists, I was there oftentimes. It's a great viewing deck. It's an elevation, so lava will go like this and will hit the asphalt road here uh, again, somewhere in this area. But you know, lava already flooded several times this road, uh, at least four times in the, this year, and they have been always putting new road across the cool it lava, that's what will happen most likely in the next weeks again once the flows will stop this, this eruption is not likely to last very long maybe two three weeks like the last one maybe shorter or slightly longer we don't know exactly but now the only infrastructure we is under which is under the threat is the road again green the road which connects it with Blue Lagoon and I was driving this road uh, earlier today, a few hours before the eruption started back to Reykjavik and I was supposed to come here again to Blue Lagoon tomorrow morning with tourists, foreign tourists, I'm scheduled to work tomorrow um, but the Blue Lagoon had been shut for tomorrow, closed so we will probably drive to Secret Lagoon to replace it with some other spa it's no issue but I feel sorry for 400 people employees of Blue Lagoon who don't have work for to, for for tomorrow and probably for some days, some weeks, so but they're still paid salaries, the Blue Lagoon is closed, so it's like being on a paid holiday. Um, so hopefully this eruption will stop rather soon within one, two, three, four days would be the best scenario and Grindavik town is safe because it's much further south here in the bottom of the picture and you have uh, Grindavik <coughs> yeah uh, that's Grindavik is here and this is the uh, Blue Lagoon <laughs> And the fissure line. Uh, there is elevation here to 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 the east. It's Fakirlas Fat Table Volcano, so there isn't much space to expand here. But some lava went also to the east and to the north. So it's most of lava spilling over is in this area. Um, but if eruption lasts long long enough, some lava might go further south. But Again, there are big walls around Grindavik, big walls around the Blue Lagoon and Geothermal Power Plant, so I hope for a better scenario. Those are the latest updates from Icelandic Met Office. The fissure now extends as far north as the fissure that opened up during the eruption back in December last year. Uh, this was just five minutes ago. Information? No, it was 11 o'clock now, it's midnight. One hour, one hour ago, sorry. And then before they said there is still considerable seismic activity at the northern end of the fissure. That's where we had the biggest earthquake here uh, to the north, magnitude 4. Uh, at 2237 an earthquake of magnitude 4 was measured. The source of the earthquake was about 3 kilometers northeast of Stora 
Skogfit, three kilometers northeast in this area. Perhaps fish will even extend further, but the seismic activity in this area indicates magma is breaking up or getting up to, to the surface uh, through the earth in new locations because if magma is breaking up in a new location you'll have a lot of seismic activity uh, the eruption has furthest has sp spread further to the north it was at 10 30 the total length of the crack is now about 3.9 kilometers and has therefore extended by 1.5 kilometers in 40 minutes in 40 minutes it it extended but 1.5 kilometers a series of images from webcam on Storos Kokfeld it shows the evolution of the lava let's see it you see And there you see a geothermal power plant in Blue Lagoon at the top right. This is the flow that is going towards the road. Uh, this southernmost flow is the biggest and it's already extending much further actually. This is the initial um, opening when the eruption started when the fissure was smaller but still even then no lava was going both sides as you see there is your lights from the town of Grindavik Blue Lagoon is here it's Icelandic Coast Guard uh, uh, flew over the fissure line that's how we look at from there that's their picture yeah so now you have an idea what is going on we will keep you informed uh, on further developments if something happens. It's late night now, it's six minutes past midnight now, I might be going to sleep because tomorrow I have to wake up early early, so stay tuned. God bless you all. Now you can see how lava is heading towards the road and the geothermal power plant here is behind a very high wall. So this is the new lava flow which is moving towards the highway will take some time probably this night if there is enough of lava it might reach the highway by the morning we will see here is our set to this elevation the viewing deck uh, that you enter from green david road it's a gravel road that will take you to an elevation here that's where you have some police cars there and lava is going in this valley here between this our set of elevation and uh, the all the lava flows from 2024 early months here you know, it's moving like it was more or less like it did in the past month the same scenario same things are getting replicated all over again and again as you see and we are watching from Thorpeot and this was some minutes ago because it shows various angles and uh, yeah it's getting closer to the road so closer and closer but still maybe one kilometer left maybe less maybe 700 meters or something this is the fissure four kilometers fissure 3.9 actually it looks like the final version it's i don't think it's likely to expand any further because typically we had fissures uh, about the same length like four kilometers uh, during all previous eruptions hopefully they will show again the, the green devic road uh, that's now it looks less to be it looks less powerful than the previous eruption because the flames are not very high so probably there is less lava coming, but I don't have an estimate how much lava is coming right now.
this was 53 minutes ago 53 minutes ago this was 43 minutes ago 39 minutes ago 39 minutes ago was already dark you see there are two flows going around Stora Skogafell which is right here the southern flow is bigger and it's larger and not sure when it will reach the road might not even reach it we don't know but we will see that is Toros Kaukofet and this is the ongoing fish eruption Volcanic eruptions in Iceland start from the fissures, especially on the Reykjanes Peninsula, which are rather big at the start of the eruptions, extending to 4 kilometers in this area. But immediately after, the day after, or two days after, um, the activity narrows up, and eventually, after a week, it's usually uh, volcano is erupting at one location where you have a crater building up. That's how it's always has been. Very likely we'll see the same thing next again. There will be some cone, hard to say where, which will be erupting lava. Maybe here where you have most of uh, lava shooting up in the northernmost part of, of the fissure line. But it's reaching the old crater in the very southern tip. The old crater which stopped on late June. He, the southernmost tip of the fissure is, is up to that crater. And then it's going all north. 